Welcome to Revolt. This is a racing game where you race remote-controlled cars around a variety of real-world environments, including but not limited to a grocery store, a toy store, even a museum, apparently. There's also some narrative in this game about a toy company that has become world-renowned for making all sorts of different toys for children, but one fateful day, some of the toys actually gained sentience and come to life? And in this case, it was the RC cars they manufactured that came to life and grew a mind of their own, and now they're just racing all around the world, or the city, I guess. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's happening in this game narrative-wise, but it's probably not something I'm gonna pay that much attention to. Because, I mean, let's be honest, when was the last time anyone ever cared about the narrative in a racing game? <laughs> but yeah, so this game is definitely a cult classic, I would say. I'm not entirely sure how popular this game was when it first came out. Uh, this game is actually pretty old for the record. This originally came out in 1999. So this is most certainly a retro racing game that I am showcasing today. Revolt is definitely one of those games that has a very devoted community which I find is kind of unusual for a racing game, because you don't really see that many racing games that have, like, uh, devoted cult followings like the one that Revolt seems to have. But to be fair, though, I don't think this game's cult status is entirely undeserved, because it was a fairly unique racing game for its time. Now, to be fair, it was also pulling ideas from other racing games of the time as well, because this game does also have a vehicular combat mechanic, where you can use random items against your opponents to try and slow them down or trip them up. So in that regard, the game does play in a somewhat similar manner to Mario Kart, but I feel like that's not a completely accurate comparison, because the primary attraction of this game is that you're racing all of these tiny RC cars around these really gigantic environments. You're basically, like, shrunk down to the size of the RC car, or I guess more specifically, the camera is shrunk down to the size of the RC car, and all of these normal human environments look so much bigger all of a sudden. And pretty much all of these normal human environments have now been turned into into racetracks. There's definitely a feeling of youthfulness that this game evokes for sure. It seems like reviewers at the time didn't really love this game as much though, because it seems like this game received mostly mixed reviews when it launched, but that doesn't really seem to have mattered all too much, because Revolt still ended up attracting a dedicated community of fans that are still working on the game and updating it themselves, like, even after all of this time, which is pretty surprising for a relatively obscure racing game. This game was originally developed and published by Acclaim Entertainment, and it did come out for a multitude of platforms back in 1999. This didn't just come out on PC, it also came out on consoles, including the PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and Sega Dreamcast. It was eventually ported to iOS and Android as well, in 2012 and 2013 respectively, and the game did eventually see a re-release on PC in 2013, exclusively on GOG. However, that re-release was mired in a little bit of controversy, as the publishers of that re-release used community-made COID in that version of the game, which it turns out they didn't actually get permission from the community devs to use, which ultimately resulted in the game getting delisted from GOG only three months after it came out on that platform. And it pretty much stayed delisted from GOG for a very long time after that, as a matter of fact, the game only returned to GOG earlier this year in April. And just last week, the game was also brought to Steam, marking the first time that Revolt has ever been available on Steam. Unfortunately, though, the 2022 re-release of Revolt does not contain any of the community-made COID that was included in the 2013 re-release, and as such, the game has been reverted to its original 1.0 retail release from 1999, which, unsurprisingly, has resulted in some people complaining of performance issues with the game. Because <laughs> apparently the Steam version of the game, and I'm guessing the GOG version as well, 
hasn't actually been updated at all to be more compatible with more modern operating systems, which you would think is something that developers would take into consideration when they're trying to re-release an ancient-ass PC game from the 90s. But that is not the version of the game that I am playing today. I am actually playing a fan-made open-source port of Revault called RVGL. Now, I don't really want to bore you with the technical details, but basically, RVGL is an open-source port of Revault that utilizes the OpenGL API. What this effectively means is that the game just runs better on more modern operating systems. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> but there's also been a handful of graphical improvements that have also been made in the game as well. The game's rendering engine has been completely rewritten, which basically eliminates all of the performance issues that the game had on more modern operating systems like Windows 10. The game also natively supports widescreen now, including 4K resolutions, apparently. Some new graphical options were added as well, like anti-aliasing and better texture filtering and mit maps. This port also contains additional content that was originally exclusive to the console versions of the game, including split-screen multiplayer and additional cars and tracks that were exclusive to the Dreamcast version specifically. Although I do believe that the Dreamcast content has to be downloaded separately because I don't think it's actually included with the port itself, but apparently some members of the Revolt community have actually ported a lot of the Dreamcast content into the PC version. So there is that. And I do want to clarify, by the way, that I did actually purchase the Steam version of Revolt before downloading this open source port, because I'm pretty sure you need the original game files in order to make this port work anyway, because that's that's usually how it goes with these open source ports. So I do want to make it clear that I do legally own Revolt on Steam, just in case people thought I was uh I was doing a little bit of the old uh, online piracy here. That's not at all what I'm doing. The main reason why I'm using this port in the first place is because I want a version of the game that I know is actually going to run well, because apparently the Steam version doesn't really run all that well due to the fact that it's literally the 1999 version of Revolt, with absolutely no improvements made to it whatsoever, which honestly kinda sucks. So I am genuinely excited to be playing this game today, because I never actually played Revolt at all before. I never really had the opportunity to play this game at any point. But I've always been very curious about it, and I have definitely been curious at the fact that this game seems to have such a, a dedicated following, despite being a relatively unknown racing game. At least I don't feel like this game was all that popular to begin with. Like, I don't feel like this game ever really had any sort of mainstream appeal. And I mean, Acclaim Entertainment never really had the best track record in terms of quality, so that may have also played a factor in it too. But now that the game is more easily available, ever since it came out on Steam literally just a week ago, I feel like I finally have the chance to play this and experience this game for the very first time because I didn't play this off screen at all. So this is actually a blind video, I'm experiencing Revolt for the very first time ever in this video here, and we're gonna see if it's any good, so with that being said, let's just go and do some racing. Do some good old RC car racing here, so let's let's freaking do it, man. So one thing that I did actually do off screen is that I did mess around with the options a little bit. So there are some additional like uh, menu options or like graphical options. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, in this specific port of the game, because I don't think they were in the original release of the game from 99. I did set the number of cars to 16, which is the maximum you can set it to, because I really just wanted to try and lean into the chaos for the purpose of this video. I think just to make things even more chaotic, I think I will uh, enable random cars as well, because I know that you can do that too. I'm pretty sure I already had that enabled, though, but I don't know. I might be remembering that wrong, but I'm gonna set the speed units to kilometers per hour because I'm Canadian and frick the Imperial system. Yeah, progress table and best time trial times, I don't really know what that is. I already made a profile here, so I guess we'll go to start race. Single race, championship, multiplayer, 
There's a stunt arena, apparently. Okay, maybe I'll go check that out later. I just like to jump into a race if I possibly can. Oh god, what is this? Simulation, full speed realistic collision, arcade, oh, console, and junior RC. Okay, I'm guessing this is something that's probably exclusive to this port of the game, because console? I'm guessing if you want, like, the console handling from, like, the Dreamcast version, I'm guessing? Let's just keep things simple and go to arcade for now, okay? Yes, I am Robotnik35. Toys in the Hood, that's an incredible name for a racetrack. Like, what are we dealing with here exactly? Supermarket 2, Museum 2, okay, it, it tells me the length of all of these tracks as well. Botanical Garden, oh, Rooftops is locked. I think Rooftops is a track from the Dreamcast port, if I'm not mistaken, though. Toy World, Ghost Town, that is most certainly a noose on top of that plank there. What the frick? Okay. I know for a fact that this game was rated E for everyone when it first came out, so I mean, seeing that is just a little... Yeah, I don't I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Toy World, Toys in the Hood, Toy... Toy Tanic. Museum 1, Supermarket 1. Okay, wait a second. Supermarket 1. Extreme difficulty... But Supermarket 2 is easy difficulty. Okay, that's a weird discrepancy, but alright. So one thing that I do know about this game is that you can unlock more tracks by completing the championship mode, I believe. So, I'm kind of wondering if I should just go to this mode, actually. Maybe that's what we'll do. Just in case the four tracks that we already have unlocked right now aren't gonna be, like, sufficient enough for, uh... Well, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, uh, I'm just kind of worried that the video might be a little too short if we just play the four tracks that we have unlocked right now, so maybe... Maybe we should just go and do this instead. Uh, okay, we have a bunch of different RC cars we can choose from. RC Bandit, Dust Mite, Fat Slug, Colonel... Coal Moss? Colonel Moss, I'm guessing? Harvester, Dr. Grudge, wait, this is literally a tractor, what in the world? Vulcan Turbo, oh, I kind of like the way that this car looks, Sprinter XL and Big Vault. It seems like there's a bunch of other cars that are currently locked here. Yeah, Speed, Acceleration, and, and Weight as well. Okay, the Fat Slug is apparently very weighty. Dr. Grudge seems to have good acceleration and relatively decent speed and little weight. Colonel Moss seems to have a bit more speed, but still decent acceleration. I don't know, let's just choose a car for now and we'll we'll see what we have here. We'll, we'll, we'll see how exactly it performs, okay? That's totally fine, we're not gonna worry too much about that for now. The Bronze Cup, difficulty easy, stages four. Okay, we can't even go to the Silver Cup actually, okay, so frick it, we'll go to the Bronze Cup. Place third or better in each race to progress. Finish top of the table to access the next challenge. Alright, sounds like a plan then. Oh uh, yes, old old school uh, loading screen right here. Good 1999 loading screen. All right, three, two, one. We're off to the races, I guess. Okay, let's freaking go. Oh god, are there actually 16 people on the track here? I can't exactly tell. Okay, lightning. I guess I guess I gotta pick that up. Are those like items? I, I don't know. They're. Oh my god, is that a bouncy ball? Yeah, that's a basketball here. Okay, yeah, we're racing in someone's backyard. It seems like we're racing on the on the suburban streets, as it were. I'm guessing those lightning- oh, frick, I just got spun out here. I'm guessing that those lightning rods are, like, items, and I just completely missed it. Wow, incredible. Okay, no, there's only- there's only eight cars here, actually. What in the frick was that explosion? Excuse me? Can I just pick this up here? Or did I actually pick something up? Let me go off this ramp! Ooh! Nice airtime. Oh god, okay, these controls, though. These controls, it does seem like you just use the, uh, the arrow keys to steer around. Yeah, W, A, S, and D don't even work. If I could just pick up these lightning rods here... Oh my goodness gracious, dude! What are these... What is What is this handling right here? Wait, where am I supposed to be going right now? Oh my goodness gracious... Uh, can, 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 could you help me up, please? Oh god! Okay, uh, it's kind of cool how everything in this game seems to be physics-based, but I actually... Wait, how do I... How, how do I... Excuse me, how do I reset myself? Oh god, I should have looked at the controls here. Hello, that's a ball. Just rolling a giant metal ball there. Okay, yeah, there really is only eight cars here. I decided to just restart the race entirely because I I actually got really confused because I didn't know where exactly I was supposed to go. Because the arrows started pointing the other way. Like, I was supposed to go back the other way? I don't know, I got, I got really confused by that. I'm gonna try and look at the arrows here. Let's try and look at the arrows. I'm still trying to figure out how to actually use the items because I haven't... I haven't figured that out yet. There's just things that are exploding behind me. Oh, okay, I press left control. Left control. What in the frick? 
goodness. Okay, do I not? Oh, I guess I don't, uh... It doesn't put me right side up automatically, it seems. Okay, so I figured out that you press the end key to flip your car back over. It's the end key. All right. And left control is to is to fire crap whenever you get an item. Okay, I got it now. I got it. Okay, so let me just grab this. I keep spinning out for some reason. I don't know what I fired, but I'm just using it, and I it'll do something, probably. Perhaps. Could have gone over that ramp, but that's okay. Oh god, why am I... Why was I all black there for a moment? God, I spin out so easily, dude. Okay, that's just a giant cannonball, and somebody just blew up and got incinerated. Okay, yeah, the... The handling on this is kind of weird. The handling on this RC car, at the very least, is kind of odd. I spin out, like, really easily. Okay, that's fine. Well, I guess I guess it just controls like a real RC car, then. Alright. I appreciate the commitment to realism. Uh, get this firecracker. There we go. <laughs> Holy frick. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it is... There, there's definitely, like, a vehicular combat mechanic in this game, for sure. I wouldn't say it quite plays like Mario Kart. Oh, it's because I was supposed to go in the tunnel... I, 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 for some reason, I thought that was a dead end. I don't know why I thought that was a dead end, but here's some firecrackers. That's a ball. Okay, wait a second. Somebody had a water balloon as well. Someone definitely had a water balloon somewhere. Okay, there. There we go. Let's, let's go here. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, the pylon. The damn pylon, dude. Traffic cone getting in my way. Frick. Also, you know what was kind of weird when I was, uh, playing this track just a couple of minutes ago? The whole time I was trying to play through this track and not knowing where the frick I was going- What even happened there? That was <laughs> God dang, dude. The physics in this game, though. Yeah, but you know what was kind of funny while I was trying to play this track before? While I was playing this track, I felt like something was poking at my legs earlier. Because, like, I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I'm actually sitting on my bed right now in order to record this video. What in the world even happened there? Okay, wait a second. Hold up a minute, there we go. Just rest- everyone, like, freaking died simultaneously right there. I don't know what the heck happened, but yeah. So I'm actually sitting on my bed right now to record this video, and I felt something, like, pricking at my legs while I was, uh, playing this track just a few minutes ago. And it turns out, there was actually an earwig that was crawling underneath my bed, and it was, like, poking and prodding me with its pincers. Or at least I think that's what it was doing. Yeah, so it was just like, I, I was I was really confused because I couldn't figure out like what the heck was, was poking me. I thought there might have been like a splinter on my bed or something and that's what my legs were hitting. But no, it was it was a little earwig, dude. It was just a little, a little earwig boy just kind of crawling around underneath my bed. I don't know how the freak he got there exactly. That guy can't drive for crap. Uh, wait, have I turned myself into a bomb? Oh, wait, I am a bomb? Is that what's going on? Do I have a... I, I am so confused by this game already, and I just started. Holy crap, dude! Okay, <laughs> I'll give myself a little bit of a speed boost. Yeah, but I have to... I have to rest... I have to do that manually every single time. I'm not entirely sure if I like that or not. Oh my god, what? Okay, why do I keep blowing up? Excuse me? Was that meant to be a trap of some sort? Kind of seems like that's what that was. Yeah, there was a little earwig that was, like, touching my legs as it was crawling crawling underneath my bed. I don't know where exactly it went. I wasn't going to try and kill him, though. I was just going to try and, like, relocate him somewhere else, like maybe take him outside or something, but I don't actually know where he went. I can't find him now. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that was something that happened. Also, that race ended horribly. <laughs> How about I try to get something with, like, more acceleration, perhaps? I mean, if it takes me too long to try and get through any of these tracks, I will just go to... Probably just go to the, the single race mode just to try out some of the other tracks here, because I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stick with this, like, uh, for, for too long here. So, let's just freaking go. I want something with good acceleration, so just, just, just give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Oh god. H hang on, I, I think I used... Did I use the acceleration? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh god, I need to make sure not to not to steer too hard with this, otherwise it's gonna... Yeah, it's just gonna... It's it, it's gonna flip out, dude. It's just gonna flip out completely. There we go. Get some firecrackers in there. Oh god, some guy got flipped over. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna spin out here. So I need to make sure... I really need to... <laughs> try and try and handle this thing well here, because it seems like none of these cars handle that well. Oh my god, dude, please. This is a water balloon. I'm just like, like, drifting everywhere. Get some water balloons. I don't know if that actually slowed you down or not. Okay, I just 
freaking fell over here again. Yeah, I don't really... Okay, that's just a cheap move, dude. You, you hit me while I'm respawning. Come on, man. Oh, God, he's coming out for blood. He's out for blood. He was, he was coming back towards me. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. This is supposed to be an easy level. Like, what the frick is going on here? Oh, wait, I didn't need to reset. I got flipped back over. Okay, what is... Oh, okay, I put some oil down, I think. I think that's what happened. Okay, please and thank you. Really, really hard to just get up the hills in this game. Here we go. Let me just take this for a moment. And... Oh, there's more firecrackers. Okay, well, just... I uh, just completely missed. Incredible. Take this firecracker. I think it hit someone. It might have hit more than one person, actually. God, yeah, these, these things are, like, really hard to control, I find. Or some of these cars are. I don't know, maybe I'm just not choosing the right vehicle for the job here. Maybe I should have went with the default, uh, like, little spring car. Oh my god, please. Hit this. There we go. I think I got something. Okay, that's- is that, like, an air horn of some sort? Not entirely sure what that was, but people just got spun around. Okay, dude, come on. Come on, man. Yeah, I do actually need to go back around, but then I need to go into the tunnel after that. Okay, so I got- I got the thing. What is the thing that I got? Oh my god, I'm going sideways. Okay, wait, back up, back up, back up. There we go. I'm still doing horribly because I'm in sixth place, but whatever. Whatever, man. Use the lightning. Okay, it, it electrifies me here. God, could I please just stop using everything as a ramp? For just one moment. Again, I like I like the fact that everything's physics based here, but still, this is just kind of this is just a little bit a little bit absurd. There we go. Pro balloon dodge. Okay, that was not a, a pro balloon dodge at all. Gave me a bit of a speed boost though. There we go. I'm just gonna place that ball down. Some guy blew up. Sucks for him. That's all I can say about that. Go underneath the car. There we go. Oh my actual god, dude, this is ridiculous. Oh, it seems like there's a little ramp leading up to that red car, though, that I could probably go off of. Maybe. But instead, I'm gonna blow people up with firecrackers again. Please? No, I'm just gonna assault him with firecrackers. Go! We're, while we're in the tunnel. There we go. Don't think that did anything to him. Okay, well, he spun out on my, uh... I think he spun out on my, uh, the oil that I put down earlier. Okay, well, I still got 7th. I have to finish in 3rd, though. Fine, let me just experiment with some of the cars, then, in that case. Like, what if I- what if I just tried the- the RC Bandit here? Just a regular car? What is the handling like on this? Oh, wow, actually, wait a second. Oh, wow, this actually handles a lot better than everything else I've tried so far. Okay, so maybe- maybe this is, like, the- the car that you're supposed to use if you're, like, new to the game. I don't- I don't exactly know. There's dropping a lot of oil everywhere. I was just trying to maybe use the cars with better acceleration because I just wanted to be able to to move faster. But this one, this one actually handles better. And to be honest, I feel like I could uh, definitely use better handling more than anything else. So I'll just go with this for now. I think. I think I'm better off just using this car for now. Here we go. Let's freaking do it. Get some firecrackers. Get some firecracker action. Get some cracker action. <laughs> That's a very weirdly worded, but whatever. Don't care anymore. Oh god, I actually went over some of the oil myself. What the heck is going on, dude? I'm just doing all sorts of stunts right here. I mean, I do still want to check out the stunt race later on, because it, it does seem like that's already unlocked to us. That's, that's fine. We can go and check that out later. If I try too many times to complete this one stage, I will just go to single-player race and try out the other stages. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spend too much time with this, okay? I do want to try out some of the other tracks. And just to make it up to you guys, just considering how much time I've already wasted on this one track right here, maybe we'll, uh, try setting the amount of laps to, uh, a higher amount for the, uh, other tracks that we try. Maybe we'll set them to, like, I don't know, six laps? But for now, I would like to actually try and see if I can beat this legitimately here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying here. Get some water balloons. Here, let me just cut this corner. Oh god, I still spin out a little bit though. When, I, when I'm trying to when I'm trying to take that jump. Oh my god, that water balloon is so bouncy. God, man, yeah, it's so it's so hard to control these cars, dude. It's so hard to control them on this terrain. There are all these metal balls here. Get out of here, please. I'm are, I'm still in eighth place. What is going on? I do believe that this port of the game does improve the game's AI as well. And wow, it, yeah, it, I mean, I don't exactly know how the game's AI behaved in the original version of the game, but this is still just uh, slightly ridiculous here. I feel like the physics are tripping me up more than the actual opponents, though, I find, because this is just... 
I don't even know what the frick is going on with these physics right now. Oh my god. I'm just getting blown up constantly, dude. Like, what is going on? There we go. That sound wave traveled literally nowhere and killed literally no one. Perfect. Totally what I want to see. Yeah, dude, every time I go off a jump, I just, like, slip and slide all over the place. This is just... This, this is not okay. This is not good at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game was designed this way. Like, it was probably designed that way on purpose, but still, it's just... I'm getting assaulted with firecrackers. Nope. There, I got fourth. I still don't think that's enough to qualify, because I needed third. <laughs> Fine, then. I'll use one of my attempts here, because I... I mean, I almost got it. I got fourth that time, so let's... let's... let's see about this. Oh, okay, so the firecracker also just trips me up as well, so I have to not use that when I'm directly in front of someone. That, that, that doesn't seem like a good idea, actually. Doesn't seem like a good idea at all, but I'm in second place, though. I mean, help me out for now. Here we go. G get your just desserts. No, I, I guess not. Okay, fine then. Forget you. Forget it. Forget it, man. I'll take this in the meantime. Somebody keeps blowing up somewhere, and I don't know where that's coming from exactly. Let me just go over this right here. Okay, yeah, it seems like the, the actual hitboxes on these items are fairly large, though. So, I mean, I do at least like that. I do at least appreciate that. God, I don't know why I'm struggling to just get through this one track, though. This is insane. Again, I do feel like it's it's mostly the physics that are tripping me up. It's the physics that are kind of that are kind of weird here. And maybe the handling just a little bit, but yeah, I'm not I'm not used to this kind of handling at all, man. I've spent too much time playing Mario Kart to really be used to any sort of handling like this in an arcade-style racer. He seems to be the fat slug here, and he seems to be uh what in the frick? Okay. Why everything just froze on me for a, for a second. What the heck? Hello? Are are we back? I think? Oh god. Okay, I think we're back now. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what the frick just happened. Like, my entire laptop just froze there for a moment. It wasn't just the game. Like, my whole laptop freaking locked up there. God. Is- is- is my freaking laptop trying to sabotage me now? Oh, come on, dude. I landed on the side and I flipped over. Get this air horn. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I at least like- Oh, I can actually move this ball around. Okay, I'm stuck on the ball. Could you not, please? Oh, hi. Where in the frick did you come from, dude? Okay. God, what in the world? Get out of my way, please, and thank you. Goodness, I'm just not in the mood for this anymore. Just not ha not feeling it, man. Not not feeling this. This is just this is just toxic. Toxic behavior here. Toxic masculinity. <laughs> I mean, you're RC cars. You literally don't have genders. What? What am I even saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I, one thing that I do at least like is that the antennas also like, uh, the antennas also, um, they, they, they wiggle around. They wiggle around because the antennas are physics-based as well. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I, I will tell you what, this definitely feels like the kind of game that was designed with a controller in my end, because this is just, oh my god, th these keyboard controls are weird to say the least, okay? They're just slightly wonky. I don't know how I feel about the keyboard controls here, but I'm trying, man. Like, I am legitimately trying, it's just that I'm getting tripped up by absolutely everything here. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying. I really am. I guess maybe it only allows you to have up to, up to eight cars on track, maybe in the championship mode. Because I did set this to 16. So I'm guessing it's just a limitation of championship mode here. God, I, I need to just avoid these corners. Maybe I just need to avoid going off of these little corners right here, because this is just... Yeah, this is this is too much for me. I mean, it, it really does seem like the AI can't handle it either, because they're, they're doing the exact same thing. They're getting tripped up by the corner. They're getting tripped up by the curb. Like, all the curbs right here. I'm I'm trying to go over them just so I can get some more uh, some more items, but I, I don't I don't know if the if the reward is really I don't know if the risk is worth the reward in this scenario. I really just want to try and qualify here. Oh my God, please get out of the oil! My Lord. Okay, good cornering. I think something exploded over here. God, this is a very dangerous RC car race. We're using like literal uh, using literal TNT here in this race. Like. What did the neighbors think about this? Just vandalizing the neighborhood here. God. Get out of here. There, that's that's the air horn. It just causes them to barrel roll. Which, I mean, is definitely funny to look at, for sure. Maybe that's what I need to try and do. I need to try and just just land straight. 
There we go. Maybe that's maybe that's actually the key. Maybe that's the key to landing that uh, to landing that well. Just gotta gotta land it straight. Can't land it sideways, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna spin out. You're gonna lose control of your wheels. You're gonna lose traction, as it were. Okay, well I just destroyed him with a freaking water balloon. Oh my god, wait! I am in first. Okay, keep the momentum going. Keep it going. No, no, no. We gotta keep it going. Is there a way that I can fire these weapons back? Like, behind me? Like you can in Mario Kart? I have no idea. But, whatever, we're gonna keep going for now. I'm in first. I'm in first. Harvester is, like, right behind me, but I'm using a speed boost to get out of there. Because I don't want to deal with his ass right now, okay? No. No. Absolutely not. You're not taking this W away from me. I'm getting this W today, boys and girls. If I can control this damn RC car. Holy frick, man. Land straight. Okay, there. I actually did. Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta try and just land that straight as I possibly can. As straight as I possibly can. Okay, put this oil down. Okay, I'm actually way far in front of Harvester now all of a sudden. I don't know what exactly he's doing. He's just getting tripped up by something in the back. Okay. I gotta make sure not to just mess up the tunnel section. Please? Electrify myself. Okay. I think... We're good. We won. Very nice, and I was really, I was really far in front of everyone. Yeah, I just gave myself a slow golf clap for that performance. It took me like 10 tries, but I did get it. We won. So frick it, man. Frick it. We're done. We're done here, finally. I'm sorry that it took me that long, but I mean, I persevered. At least I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I kept going. And I actually ended up winning the race under, under three minutes as well. Freaking let's go, man. Let's, uh, continue on then in that case. Yeah, we have 10 points. Congratulations, you qualified. Very nice indeed. So what track do we have next? We are going to continue the championship here. Okay, we are going to Supermarket 2. This one has four laps. Okay, so I guess it's, uh, some of the tracks have different lap uh, counters, I guess. Okay. Well, I do believe you can also, yeah, configure that if you're, uh, doing a single race as well. Which I guess maybe that's what that, what the frick happened there. I, I guess that's what that, uh, what those options are for anyway. Like, I guess the options are specifically for single race. Okay, but I'd like to do a race with 16 opponents just to see, like, how wild and chaotic those races tend to get. I want to see that. So, we'll, we'll definitely try and do that later on in the video. Like, I'm not, I'm not giving up on this just yet. Here we go. Um, I should try and actually use these water, but what the frick is that bounce? There we go, hit him. Very nice. Calculated shot. Okay, he retaliated. <laughs> he retaliated with his own water balloon. There we go. I'm gonna... I, I think... Okay, so sometimes I get a lightning bolt from the lightning bolt, which I think is actually a fake item. I think that's the one that blows up. Oh my god, this handling, though. Here we go. We're, we're fine. We're fine right now. I'm actually doing surprisingly well now all of a sudden, because I am in first again. This is like, okay, this is ice. We gotta drift around this, or we gotta try to. There we go. There we have it. Oh my god, regain control. There we go. Electrocute him. Don't let him get past you. Something blew up in the back. I think that was actually my fake, my fake item that I put down there. I think that was the thing I went past. I'm guessing this is also probably like Mario Kart, where I can essentially blow myself up with that. Blow myself up with my own fake item. I don't exactly know, but I mean, I'm somehow doing fine. Is this guy just stuck? Okay, I actually lapped one guy down, apparently. Because it seems like that guy was actually still behind me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Electrocute all of them. There we go. Open. Keep that door open. Oh god, I'm taking that... I think I'm taking the turn too hard. I think that's the problem. That's the problem. Okay, well, even if I don't... Okay, I'm getting second. Well, I still qualified. I still qualify because I just need to get in third. So it's fine. We're, we're still good. We're still good. That's okay. It's fine. That is actually okay. We will be fine as long as we at least get third place. God is... I don't think... I don't think the sprinter car is gonna be coming back here anytime soon, because I think he's just stuck. Oh no, he's right there. He actually got unstuck. Okay, the tractor just blew up for some reason. Yeah, I guess one of these items... One of the items you get here literally turns you into a bomb, it seems. Okay, well, I'm still in, uh... I'm still in first place in terms of points. So, let's keep it going. Keep it going, man. I think I only still have one try remaining, though, so that's a bit of a problem, but... Keep it going. 
see if we can do this. We're in the museum now. Okay, Revolt Museum. Interesting. All right, let's see how this goes. Go around the corner. Oh god, I have to go left. Okay. Well, I mean, there are arrows that are telling me where to go, so I should I should pay attention to them. There we have it. Yeah, but this game is definitely a lot harder than I was expecting it to be, because, I mean, the... Yeah, the handling on this is definitely not like Mario Kart at all. It's a lot more physics-based than Mario Kart. Okay, I can just go anywhere. Oh god, we're in space now. What is what is going on? I'm putting some oil down. There we go. Oil me up, daddy. Yes, I did. I did actually make a lewd comment on purpose that time. I actually didn't go like full autism mode and say that unintentionally. No, I did that on purpose. Oh, frick. I just got assaulted by a water balloon somewhere. From somewhere. Just from downtown, dude. What in the world? Okay. I mean, this is still... This is still fairly fun for what it is. Like, when it when it really gets going, it's definitely, like, uh... You know, pretty pretty exhilarating, I would say. This firecracker. Okay, why did the firecracker go back the other way? <laughs> I'm going up the wrong side of this escalator right here, because it's slowing me down. There we go, I'm electrocuted. Electrocuting myself here. Which is actually good in this scenario. Try not to go over my own oil spill. Oh, freak off. Please and thank you. Okay, I th think it's already gone, actually. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're still in third. We're still in third right now. Oh my god, dude. This is You know what this is also kind of reminding me of right now? It's kind of reminding me of uh, <laughs> Destruction Derby 64. Because, like, everyone everyone is just kind of, like, trying to force themselves in, in front of you. Or trying to force themselves... Well, well yeah, trying to force themselves into... into uh, like, even when they're stuck, they still try to force themselves forward. Like the AI does most of the time. And it results in everyone just getting, like, piled up on top of each other. And I mean, this did come out the same year as Destruction Derby 64 originally, so... Yeah, it definitely feels like a lot of the... It definitely feels like a lot of the 90s racers that I grew up playing, because I definitely did play some of these games when I was younger. Because I have played Destruction Derby 64 in, like... Like, Mickey Speedway USA, Mario Kart 64... I think I'm gonna completely frick this up, unfortunately, if I can stop this guy! In the nick of time, oh my god, the bounce on these water balloons, though, is insane. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, well, the dream's dead, I think. Okay, the tripwire is actually, like, the... It's actually the start-finish line. Okay, can I still use... Can I still use my, uh, my weapons after I finish the stage? No, it doesn't seem like I can. All right, well, is the dream over? Oh, no, I still have another try left. Okay, we can try this one more time. Let's, let's go. Let's go, then. We'll try it one more time. And if we can't get through this, then we'll just go to single-player race and do, like, a 16-player race on whatever other track we have, uh, available to us at the moment. Because I don't- I already forgot what the other one was called. But so- it's okay. It's okay, man. It's fine. And maybe just because we haven't really spent that much time, or we didn't spend that much time with, uh, Supermarket 2, maybe we could go back to that other track later and try to do a 16-player race on that one as well. God, if I could just- if I could just stop avoiding all the walls here. If I could stop trying to kiss every single wall in sight. Yeah, so that'll probably be what we do. Okay, I can actually put the metal ball down now. So I guess the metal ball is meant to be just like- like a- like a physical object that just gets in your way. I'm guessing. It's probably all that it is? Oh my god, I freaking got it blown up again, dude. Come on here. Yeah, so I mean, I guess this does require a bit more input on the player's part, because... Yeah, when you get flipped over, you don't, uh... Your car doesn't get flipped over automatically, so you actually have to press a button. Maybe I would want to remap that, though, because does Spacebar do anything? It doesn't seem like it. I just did a full 360, man. What the heck happened? Yeah, it doesn't seem like Spacebar does anything, so... Maybe just to make it easier on myself, I could try and remap that to the Spacebar? I don't feel like that would necessarily be cheating, because, I mean, the game allows you to remap, remap the buttons anyway. So, I may as well, may as well take advantage of that. I don't really like the fact that it's the N key that, that flips you over. I feel like it would be easier for me to just, like, rebind that to spacebar. So I'll probably, I'll probably do that in, in, in just a little bit after I finish this race. Here we go. I think, okay, no, th this, this guy in front of me, the, the tractor, tractor boy, there we go. Get flipped, get flipped, and oh my god, where did that firecracker come from? Jesus, dude, it's like I, I I kill one person and then something else comes out from, like, the the hallway in front of me and just completely murders my ass. Like, what is that about? What is going on here in this game? 
Goodness, I don't even know what I just used, but whatever. I think it might have been a firecracker. I think? I don't actually know. I wasn't paying attention to- Okay, dude, you know what? You know what? Here's a metal ball. For some reason. It kind of looks like a pinball, actually. Yeah, dude, this game is, like, so much harder than I was expecting it to be. Holy frick, but... Whatever, man, I'm still enjoying it. Like, that's that's what matters at the end of the day. I'm still enjoying this for what it is. But my goodness, this is... This is... This is fairly difficult to play. Game over. Better luck next time. Yeah, I just have to end the championship, apparently. Okay, well, what else is there that I can... That I can mess around with, then? Okay, yeah, these are the guys that ended up winning. Well, wait a second. I'm still at the top of the- Oh no, that- Because I changed my car, that's right, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> my car still appeared, but it blew up and fell off the podium. God, talk about adding insult injury- And it blows up- It blows up again! It blows up again! Eh. Oh god, I'm just- I'm just so loopy as frick now. I- I don't know. I think when that earwig poked me earlier, it it may have injected something into me that's causing me to become all loopy now. I don't know what the frick happened, but... Okay, well, I mean... Progress table? Oh yeah, everything is just... Yeah, I unlocked nothing over here. Stunt Arena Stars Collected. Okay, I don't, I don't exactly know what that is. No time trial times just yet. Okay. So do I still have this set? Okay, I do still have this set to, uh, to 16 cars and 3 laps and whatever the heck. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Let's go to single race, go to arcade, get through all of this. Uh, what was the other one? It was Botanical Garden. Yeah. So let's go to Botanical Garden and see what this track is all about. Oh, frick, yeah, okay. Um, hang on a second. I, I did say that I wanted to increase the amount of laps, right? just because of how much time we wasted on the other tracks. Okay, let me go do this quickly then. Six laps, and I think I will do another race on Supermarket 2 just because we actually didn't see that track for uh, a great period of time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like... Oh, I can change the camera as well with F1. Okay, well, um... Okay, reposition is home. That's not what I want. Okay, so... I didn't realize I had a horn as well, actually. Okay, so... Flip car is gonna be, uh, space bar. There we go. And actually, I think reposition is going to be, uh, right control. There we go. I feel like that might be a little bit easier for me to, to deal with, personally. That might be good. That might be a little bit better. Alright. Let's do this then. <laughs> Let's lean into the chaos. Six laps, random cars... 15 CPUs. God, is this gonna, like, blow up my GPU, I wonder? We'll find out soon enough. Alright, let's- let's just go here. Let's bring the madness, dude. Bring the freaking man- wait, they're all the same car. Uh... Lean into the chaos! Lean into the freaking chaos! Just go! Just do it! I don't care. We're all racing the same car- I thought this was supposed to be random, but whatever. Okay, fine. Fine. Lean into the chaos. They're all gonna be the same car. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They're all the same vehicle. It's fine. It's fine. Lean into the chaos, dude. Just lean into it, okay? Lean so far into it that you just fall on it, okay? Fall onto the chaos. Oh my god, that guy just went soaring into the air. Holy frick, dude. My god, okay. You know, I'm still kind of impressed by this game, though. Like, just for, for a, like, an early 3D racing game that came out in 1999, just the fact that everything in this game is physics-based, it's actually kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Everything in this game is just so physics based. Okay, that just that just disables my vehicle. God, look at look at this pileup that's going on right here, guys. Look at this. Look at this stupidity right here. Isn't it just great? Isn't it just grand? Oh my god, that stupid ball though. That stupid freaking ball. It does seem like this this map in particular has much tighter corridors as well. So everyone just gets piled up. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is... yeah, this is this is quite something, indeed. And this is most certainly something. I don't know if those reflections were in the original version of the game. I know that guy's gonna blow me up, yeah. He, he just turns himself into a bomb. I guess it was also good that I, that I gave myself more laps on this track, because it does seem like this is one of the shorter tracks, because I, I actually have a 31 second lap time here. So yeah, it's a it's a very short track, dude. Oh my god, okay, I actually did get the speed boost as well. There we go. Freaking let's go. Let's go get him. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get the firecrackers out. There we go. Gotta gotta throw some crackers at people. Very nice. Oh, can I get back up? No. Frick. Okay, fine. 
Uh, oh right, I, I reassigned this to the spacebar, I forgot about that. I already forgot that I rebinded the damn controls. God, my brain right now. It's fine, okay? It's okay. Goodness, okay, so yeah, it does seem like you can actually sort of customize these races to, uh, you know, whatever whatever you like. Oh, wait a second, do I... Okay, well, I thought maybe if I if I slammed into him, then maybe it would have, uh... It would have, like, maybe transferred that bomb projectile or whatever onto him, perhaps? I was just assuming that's how it worked, but... Okay, do I want to even? Do I want to even? Well, it doesn't matter, because it didn't affect me, so whatever. <laughs> whatever, let's just keep going. Let's just keep it going for now. I don't know who I can hit. I'm just gonna hit you with, with the water balloons. God, do these balls never despawn, though? Do they ever despawn at any point? I don't know where that balloon went, but... Oh, okay, there it is. There it is right there, actually. God, this game is just... This game is actually wild, dude. What the frick? Okay, wait. Everyone is just... Why is everyone just stuck right there? They actually can't get over that, that, uh, that jump, it seems. What in the world? Yeah, some of these guys seem to be having a hard time trying to get over that jump. That's kind of that's kind of funny. Yeah, improved AI my foot. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I'm having too much fun with this now. God, shouldn't have, I should have just done this from the beginning, honestly. But that's okay. It's totally fine. I at least tried to play the game a little bit legitimately here, but it's what it's whatever. It's whatever. All right, here we go. Fifth play. Oh my God, that balloon though. Hang on, I'm gonna get in third. There we go, I actually did get third. Okay, I would have qualified for that then. I definitely would have qualified for that if it was a championship race. Yeah, why are they why are they all Vulcan turbos though? I I'm I set this to random cars. I just assumed that it was going to it was gonna select some random vehicles and not just have them all be the same vehicle. But whatever, that was still That was still very enjoyable though. That was a very enjoyable race, man. Right? So, I guess... Okay, go to the next track. Well, I mean, I don't think I can go to the next track. Botanical Garden... No, I still it still doesn't allow me to go to rooftops. Okay. Well, that's all fine and good. Okay, yeah. Well, I can view a replay as well, but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm going to because I mean, I'm recording this anyway. I'll just be able to watch the recording back. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of confused now though cuz is it just going it, to it's not going to just pick the same cars every single time though. It's supposed to be random. Yes, hello there, Mr. Earwig. I I see you hiding underneath my bed. Are you the one who's been like poking at my legs for like the past hour by any chance? Is there something you want from me, or...? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, you can stay there for now, but after I finish recording, I'm gonna have to move you somewhere else, because you can't you can't stay there, dude. I'm gonna have to, like, bring you outside or something, alright? Yeah, dude, there's literally an earwig that's just kinda crawling around on one of the... one of the little wooden planks underneath my bed right now. He's just moving... he's moving his antennas around like crazy. I don't know what the frick he's doing. Alright, well anyway, I'm gonna try my best to finish recording this video. I'm... I'm definitely gonna need to move him out because he just... he keeps poking my legs over and over for some reason. I don't think he's trying to attack me, but he really likes my legs. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let... I... I really wanna... I really wanna test something out. So, what is... what is this gonna do? Okay, fat slug? Oh, they're all gonna be fat slugs. Okay, so wait a second. So when I select a random car, does that actually mean it chooses a random car for not only me, but for every other opponent to be as well? Oh god. Okay, well, I that's not what I was expecting for it to do, because I thought that it was just going to pick, like, random vehicles. So I guess... I guess if I want all the, all the vehicles to be different, then I actually need to, uh... I actually need to just set it to off, then. Otherwise, the vehicles are all literally going to be the same. Huh. Okay, well, that's that that's fine, I guess, but... Okay, well, I want to actually do a race where all of the cars are different, so... I think what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to exit out of this race. Oh, I can also change the cars by just restarting the race as well. Yeah, everyone is now Sprinter XLs. If I restart the race again... Everyone's gonna be RC bandits? Oh, okay, I guess that's how this works. Okay, but I want every single car to be different, though, because that's not what I was expecting it to do. Okay, let me try out the Dust Mite. I haven't actually tried out this Dust Mite car yet. Why does this look like it's themed around, like, Wario or Waluigi? 
I don't know, just just that logo. I don't know, that logo just looks very similar to me. Okay, let's let's try this out here. Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't win a race on this, which is which is fine. But is everyone gonna be different? Different cars? Yes, it seems like it. Okay, well, some of them are actually the same. Okay, maybe it's because I don't have every single car unlocked right now. So it's actually repeating some of them. Okay, what? who is this giant monster truck right here? I, I don't even remember seeing you in the, in the, the car select screen. Wait a second, what the frick? Okay, hang on. Do, do I already have you unlocked? I have no freaking idea. Oh, that guy's just stuck in the door. Okay, um... Yeah, let's just let's just try and uh, let, let's just try and do a normal race here. Then, in that case, just because I didn't spend that much time on Supermarket Two or showing off Supermarket Two. Okay, so yeah, random car just actually makes all of the opponents the exact same car as you, which is not necessarily what I wanted. So yeah. Maybe d disable that just for now. It seems like some cars are still repeats of others, though. Because I guess I need to try and unlock all the other vehicles first. And only then will the game actually, like, choose some of the vehicles I unlocked for, like, the computer opponents. I guess that's how this works, man. I guess that's just how this works. So, I mean, in, re in reality, there's only eight different cars that it can select from right now. But I guess if I if I unlock more of them, then that could change. Possibly. I don't exactly know how to unlock other cars in this game, though. I don't know if you can also unlock more cars by completing the, the championships. Maybe? Perhaps? Don't fully know how this works, but I mean... I don't really care either way, because I'm still enjoying my time with this. I am going to check out the stun races after this. This will probably be the last normal race that I do. And then I'm going to check out some of the, the stun races. You know what? If I can't shake off this bomb, I'm going to take this Sprinter XL guy with me. Bring him down with me. Okay. Well, I still landed on my feet. I got way more airtime than I thought I would. What in the frick? Okay. I didn't even get close enough to him to actually, like, blow him up with me. But all right. Whatever. I'm going to go off this ramp and just completely miss the item altogether. Perfect. All right. Well, let's just, just keep going. Just keep going for now. God, this handling... Still not entirely sure how I feel about this handling. No, you you stay away from me, buddy boy. Just stay away from me, please. Nope. Get this air horn. Which I don't think hit anything, but whatever. It looked cool, so I just wanted to use it. Okay, firecracker. Oh, wait, no, I'm in first place right now. I just realized I'm in first. Okay, this other guy over here is still stuck because of the metal balls. Okay. Well, get another metal ball, because I actually got another one. Well, I mean, I won the race. Out of 16 opponents, I would say that's pretty good. My best lap was only 23 seconds. Goodness, man. That was pretty good. Was there anyone else who was using the Dust Mite car as well? Probably. There had to have been a repeat of the Dust Mite car, too. There had to have been. I'm just trying to wait them out, because it does seem like they do get unstuck eventually. Um, okay, no, there there was actually no, uh, there was no other Dust Mite that was participating in this race, actually. Or, or was there? Let me just look at this quickly. Okay, no, there wasn't, and there was, there, were, there was only one fat slug as well. Okay, so, so wait a second, do I actually have, how many cars do I have unlocked right now? I want to just make sure about this. I'm still, like, so unsure as to, like, everything about this game. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, I do actually have nine of them unlocked. Okay, I already have the monster truck unlocked, actually. I didn't realize I did. Okay, so it's there's nine cars that it can choose from. Okay, yeah, and there is just a time trial mode as well. But, I mean, are the other, are the other cars still, uh locked by any chance? Or the other, uh, racetracks? Yeah, they still are. I mean, what is practice mode, out of curiosity? What exactly is that? I just want to see what exactly practice mode is, because I don't, I don't actually know what this, what this mode is. Like, what is the, what is the difference between, oh, okay, it's, I can literally just race around the track? Yeah, with no obstacles in my way, actually. Okay, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. I can just, uh, yeah, like, like, survey the entire track, essentially. Okay, well, that's actually, that's actually, uh, pretty neato, if I do say so myself. Yeah, just taking the monster truck out for a test spin. Indeed. I mean, we didn't really see that much of this track either in this video, so I guess I could just do, like, one lap around it, just to show it off again. 
But I would, uh, I would like to check out those stun races, though, because I want to see, I want to see what exactly that is. Yeah, it seems like the handling on this, on this truck, though, is actually better than, like, every other vehicle that I have so far. Seems like it, at, at least for the most part. Yeah, okay, just freaked myself up there. Is it possible for me to just fall off the track here, I wonder? Can I actually... Oh, wait a second, what am I doing here? My wheels are big enough. Okay, let's see. Can I can I actually fall off the track? Or d will it even will it even let me? I want to try it out. I want to try something out here. God, the acceleration on this is insane. Okay, this this game definitely seems to have some game breaking potential. Just considering that everything in this game seems to be so physics based. I mean, I don't know. There might be an invisible wall there. Actually, I might not be able to get over that. Oh my freaking god. Okay, I feel like for I I feel like this might have. Uh, this monster truck might have a bit too much acceleration on it. Way more than it probably needs, I feel. But, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. If I can get my wheels unstuck here. Oh, please? No, I don't think I'll be able to. Okay, well, anyway, what what exactly is uh, the stun races? The stun races are the last thing that I'm gonna check out, and then I am going to end this video off, because I don't even know what this video was, honestly. Aside from just a complete disaster. But... Either way, okay, so Stunned Arena, Neighborhood Arena, 0 of 20 stars? Okay, so what what exactly are these? Oh my god, what is this? Oh frick, I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, so I guess in the Stunt Arena, I just need to find all the stars. Okay, well let's go and find the stars then in that case. Oh god, how exactly is this gonna control here? Trying to go up the ramp. Are right, I gonna hit this ramp here? Oh, there's some stars that we can collect. Oh god, okay, I just fell out completely. Okay, wait. F1 to change the camera? Oh, there is a first person mode in this game. Oh, here's the onboard camera. Okay, let's let let's get it then. Let's get it then. Try to keep it as straight as I possibly can. Feels like I'm playing Trackmania here. Oh, there we go. Very nice. It kind of looked like I was glitching through the uh like, I was glitching through the, the ramp there for a minute, but I think I actually did go over the ramp. I'm pretty sure I did, and I got the stars. I have four of them now. God, I don't know... I don't know if I should put, like, a motion sickness warning on this video or not, because this is just... Oh my lord. Yeah, I feel like if you're very prone to motion sickness, this might not actually be the best video to watch for you, because this is kind of... Oh my god. There, there's just so much wobbling, so much wibble wobbling going on. Here, let me just use this camera angle again. Gotta get up the gotta get up the half pipe. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough speed in order to do this, actually. I must be able to. Come on. No? What if I uh try to cheese this by going up here instead? Okay, well that didn't work at all. Try to get this star at least? No? God, I need like an even bigger jump for that. I do believe the original PC release of this game did actually support uh force feedback. Which means that you could actually use a steering wheel in order to play this game. You could use, like, a steering wheel controller specifically. Okay, I actually did get that one. Oh my freaking god, I need to get such a big jump. Okay, let's try let's try going for uh, this star over here. Oh my god, dude. Okay, sometimes it might actually be useful to use the, the, the first-person camera, though, because everything else is just so wobbly, dude. Like, sometimes everything is just a little bit too wobbly. Okay, so... God, where, where else can we possibly go to get some easy stars, I wonder? We already have six. Oh, apparently I missed a star on that ramp up there. Oh. Okay, well, then try to go back and get it. Hang on. Hold up a minute. Why don't we go and get uh, this star in the meantime? God, how big of a jump do I need to get to get that star? Here we go, watch this. I'm gonna hit this perfectly. How in the frick, dude? That looked like it was it. Excuse me? Hold up a minute. Oh my god, I'm driving on the wall. That looked like it should have been it. Come on, man. Come on, bruh. No. Okay, wait a second. Why can I not get this star right here? Why is this not... Why is this not working? Am I not getting enough speed? Hang on, let's let's try to get a bigger build up here than in that case. Go around. Okay, well, I just messed that up completely. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Con trying to control these cars with a keyboard is less than ideal. For absolute sure. I don't know why the frick I can't get this star. It seems like that should that should be good enough. It should be good enough to clear it. I'll try one more time and then I'll just go for for something else. Huh? Okay, I, I guess I am not getting a good uh, a high enough jump then. I actually am not. Okay, well frick it, get this star then in that case. 
Or I can just spin out on the ramp itself. We can do that too. Viable strategy. Sure. Here we go. Straight line. Straight line! There. Well, I mean, it, it's, it seemed like I still got the exact same height as I did on that other jump, but I still got it somehow. Okay, dude, hang on a minute. Something ain't making sense here. Something's not making sense right now. Can I try going back on that loop to try and get that other, uh, that other star I missed? I feel like these physics might be a little bit less than ideal as well. Yeah, the... God, this camera! I mean, I got through the loop, but, like, why does the camera just glitch through the ramp? Or the loop itself? When my car doesn't, just use the normal camera? Oh god, okay, I think I'm going- Wait, I actually landed back on the- on the loop. Why am I even, like, wasting my time with this? I have no idea. I just want to see if, perhaps, I can actually, like, make some progress here. Because right now, I'm not making that much progress. <laughs> Coming in from downtown. Just wa watch the madness unfold. Watch me hit this big jump. Huh? Oh my god, I actually did get it that time. Okay, there we go. There we go, we got it. We have it. Is there anything over over here by any chance? Like on the outside? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, let me try and get this. Oh my god, I actually did make it up here somehow. Hang on a minute. Whoa, I can I can get I can get the star from here. I can get it from here. There we go. Okay then. Into the ramp. Okay, I I well I mean I definitely had enough speed to do something there. To pull off something just super wild and wacky. It didn't, it didn't work out in my favor. It just didn't work out in my favor at all. Okay, so I don't know if I actually have to fall off that ramp when when I go, like, halfway through it in order to get that other star. So I don't actually know. I don't actually know how to get that other star up there. Oh, here we go. Hang on a second. Let's go up here. Oh, I guess there's there are a couple of stars that I can only get if I go around the sides, it seems. Okay, well, how about we go down here? And we go up... Okay, not enough speed at all, but I got I got half the stars now, at least. Let's try and see if I can hit this jump. Okay, well I was I was about to do something crazy there, but it just it just failed spectacularly. Okay, well how about okay I just can't go up 90 degrees. Okay, well frick it then. I think I'm actually done here. What would be the next track here? Neighborhood Arena again? Yeah, let's just quit out of that for now. I don't I don't really feel like trying to get all these other all those other stars. Okay. Oh, but it does appear to save my progress. Does it actually save my progress? Oh, it does. Okay. It actually saves my progress here, so I don't have to like I don't have to come back and and get all the all the stars all over again. So it it saves them like as soon as I collect the star, that star is gone forever, I guess. Okay. Cool. That's great, then, in that case. Because if everything- if my progress reset completely, that would have made me, uh... It would have made me a little mad. Not gonna lie. It would have made me super mad. God, this- this antenna right here is so wobbly, dude. Like, look at this. It just wobbles all over the place. Like, look at the- look at the way that this thing wobbles, like, when I'm going in reverse and going backwards, whenever I hit a wall. Like, what is that, dude? Why does it wobble so much? That does not seem natural. I don't know. Oh, I see. Junior RC is a mode where you have reduced speed. Okay. That's like the easy mode of the game, I guess. Okay, well, again, I said I wanted to lean into the chaos, so I, I may as well have gone for full speed. I can see what realistic collision is uh, all about, though. We can see what that's all about. Uh, I do believe I am going to be ending the video here fairly soon, though. I did put random cars back on. I think I'm actually gonna try and end the video while I'm doing this race right here. Okay, everyone's gonna be dust mites. That's fine. That's totally okay. Oh, my freaking god. Okay, well, maybe they'll control a little bit easier. Actually, is it possible for me to have all of these cars be monster trucks? I want them all to be monster trucks. Hang on a second. Let's see here. Oh, uh, if do I want them all to be tractors? Well, that looks hilarious as well, but no, I actually want- I want them all to be monster trucks. Hang on a second. Yeah, here we go, the big vault. All of them are monster trucks! Oh my freaking god. Okay, yeah. Let's go, dudes. We're gonna tear up the neighborhood together, boys. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, everything is just going insane already. Okay, so yeah, I am actually going to try to end the video while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this. So, that was Revolt. My god, man. This is, uh... This game turned out to be way more chaotic than I was expecting it to be, but I mean, aside from that, I do actually, I do actually like this game. I enjoy it quite a bit, but 
Man, it is- it's definitely a lot harder than I expected it to be. This is definitely no Mario Kart, for absolute sure. Holy crap, man. This is way harder than Mario Kart. That guy just got, like, clobbered into oblivion. Goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down here. Very nice. Yeah, so I mean, like, other other than that, though, this was, this was still super fun to play. I mean, to be honest, I think I did end up having a lot more fun just, uh... You know, setting all of the- the amount of opponents to 16, and then just, uh... Yeah, enabling random cars, because that apparently, uh... Enabling random cars causes all of the CPU opponents to have the exact same car as you. So they're all the exact same, uh... Like, class of car, basically. And man, it really does, uh... It really does add to the already chaotic nature of the game, for absolute sure. But, yeah, it, it really does feel like... I, I don't know. I don't know if I would necessarily say it's a game that requires more strategy than Mario Kart. I just feel like it's the... It's the handling of these cars that I just can't really seem to get used to right now. This definitely feels like one of those games that was more designed for... A gamepad, for absolute sure. And I mean, this game did also come out on consoles back in 1999 as well. And I do believe the PC version did have support for force feedback steering wheels, like force feedback controllers. So I don't know, maybe you were meant to play this with a joypad of some sort. Maybe you were always meant to play it that way. I don't really know. But I mean, I still like it, man. I just really love the... just how freaking chaotic this game is. Like, everything is just physics-based, and it seems like even all the weapons in the game are physics-based as well. They also abide by the laws of physics, and it's just... God, it's just, it's just such a grand old time. It really is a grand old time, honestly. I do feel like the game is a lot more fun to play in single-player mode, though, because it seems like you can customize the races a little bit more in this particular mode. But other than that, man, like, yeah, this is... This is loads of fun. I can see why this game has such a, a dedicated following, like a dedicated cult following. And I do believe this game does technically have mod support as well, because... I know that people have also created custom stages for Revolt as well. Uh, some of which I maybe probably should have showed off, or maybe I should have tried showing some of those off in this video, but it's it's fine regardless. Oh my god, our path is being blocked off by metal balls, dude. What is going on? People also blowing up again. People just blowing up everywhere. Lots of explosions. But yeah, I do know that this game has mod support. People have made mods for this game, they've made, like, custom tracks, and even custom cars, too. I don't know if maybe I should have downloaded some of those and maybe tried to show those off in this video as well, but... Either way, man, like, I still... I, I still enjoyed this. Like, I still enjoyed the amount of time that I spent with this game tonight. This game is freaking fun. Re in spite of, like, how difficult it is. This is honestly freaking awesome, man. This is really cool. I do feel like this game definitely deserves to have the, uh, the dedicated following that it does. I mean, that being said, it's definitely not, like, the, the best racing game or arcade-style racer that I've played. Not by a long shot, but still, it's, it's fun. It's just a fun, silly tie-in. And that's more or less what I look for in these kinds of racing games. So, I like it. If you guys want to go and play the game for yourselves, the link is in the description. Like, if you want to go and purchase the game, and I do recommend that you go and buy the game on Steam before you download the the open source port of the game, because I'm pretty sure you're going to need the official game files anyway, so... Like, to even make this port work. But it's not terribly expensive, though. It's only $8 on both Steam and GOG. So... I would say it's definitely uh, worth that price. I, I mean, just considering that it's a... <laughs> It's a 23-year-old video game, so $8 for a 1999 game certainly seems appropriate. So yeah, go give Revolt a try if you uh if you're into these sorts of like extremely chaotic uh arcade-style racers cuz good lord, everything's just blowing up in the background. But uh oh, nice barrel roll there at the very least. <laughs> yeah, I guess it also helps by the way that this game does have a banger soundtrack too. I, I spent a couple of minutes on the title screen when I booted this up earlier, just listening to the game's music, because th this game has some, uh, this game has some heaters, man, for absolute sure. I don't know if any of those heaters are, uh, licensed by any chance, I don't know. I'm not sure if it, if this game uses a licensed soundtrack, or if the, if the music was made specifically for the game, I have no idea. But, I'm gonna hope that they were made specifically for the game, because... I've already gotten a couple of copyright claims on the, some of the videos I uploaded this year, so... 
I don't really want to get any more than I already have. But yeah, I don't really know what else to add to this, honestly. So yeah, the link's in the description if you want to buy the game on both Steam and GOG. I'm not going to be adding links to where you can get the PS1 or Nintendo 64 or uh, Dreamcast versions. Because it's a lot easier, it would just be a lot easier to link you guys to the Steam version and GOG. So just go pick up those versions instead. It's a much easier way to play the game in modern times. And if you are having issues with the Steam and GOG versions, like if you are having like performance issues with the game, uh, you can also download the RVGL open source port, which I do recommend that you just do anyway. And I will be providing the link to that in the description as well. Okay, I'm just curious. What if we have 16 monster trucks on Botanical Garden? Can we just see what this looks like quickly? Oh god, they're all gonna- yep, they're just flipping over each- Oh my freaking lord, dude. I, I want to see how they try to get past the bridge. Are they all gonna get, like, 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 clumped up together again? Are they all gonna get huddled up together and they're not even gonna be able to get on the bridge, I think. Oh, well, I mean, they, they still kind of get through it. Okay, I was expecting all of them to just get stuck, honestly. Goodness, this is just- this is insane, man. I love physics-based games. They always break in the most fascinating ways. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't- I don't think I'm actually going to, uh, finish this race, though, because I really do just want to end the video, so there you go. There's links in the description, a whole bunch of them- well, not a whole bunch of them, like- like three of them for the Steam and GOG versions of Revault, where you can go and buy the game, and also where you can download the RVGL open source port of Revault. So yeah, go have fun with that. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!